So the first thing that's necessary when you want to set your uh, concept two up so you can swap between paddling and rowing is to remove the handle from the chain. And if you look at the back of the handle or the inside of the frame on it, you'll see some um, 7 16 nuts, nylock nuts attached to a U-bolt. We gotta take those off. So we loosen those with a 7 16 box end wrench. And then at some point you'll be able to loosen by hand. Finish taking them off by hand. And so that handle will slide right off. Notice I still have a good grip on the, on the both the end of the chain, what's called the swivel connector, and the U-bolt. So I'm going to take the U-bolt out, set it on the monorail for the time being, take a good firm grasp with my right hand of the chain, and then I reach around on the other side of the chain guide here, and I just make sure it doesn't slam back up in and, and get off the sprockets. We don't want that to happen. So now that we have that off, we're going to put it back on. Take the U-bolt, slip it through there, and then we're going to thread these two 7 16 nylock nuts back on the quarter 20 threads of the U-bolt. Tighten them up with the box end wrench. Good and snug. Now, if you just take the uh, crown part of the U bolt, give it a pull, you'll snug those. Nylock nuts up against the frame of the handle. So that's ready to go now. We're going to leave that like that uh, in that position. And that'll make a quicker switch between the two modes. And I just leave it under the monorail. Now we'll take the um, chain back through, we'll thread it back through, and we'll put on this pear-shaped connector. You don't need any tools to fasten or unfasten this. It's hand tightened. So we just turn it. You never want it so tight that you can't loosen it or tighten it with your hand. But when you tighten it, you do want the threads completely covered by the nut. We don't want that to come apart as you row or paddle. So in order to put it on a swivel connector at the end of the chain, it has to be completely open, all right? So what I do with this is reach through, grab it, and then reach to the point where you, you're about six inches up on it and pull with your left hand. It comes through, keep a hold of it with your other hand. Now, the swivel connector has a brass bushing. If you got your machine uh, in the last four or five years, the supplier for the Concept 2 brass connector has changed. And in order to make that, make sure some of those are a little snug to fit around the threads on this pear-shaped connector. You can just take a 7 30 seconds rat file, that's like a, a round file, if it doesn't fit and just slide it through there a few times working it on that both sides of that brass connector and you'll be all set it'll come through i've already done that on this and so it's opened all the way we push it across it comes right up through and then we're going to tighten it up now as far as when you want to row now 
you can have an extra connector in there. And it makes for a very quick change to get that back on, thread it on. And you can see, I'll thread it all the way on. And that'll work just fine for the rowing mode. And if you're rowing with good technique, it's never going to be an issue. It's just going to be part of the chain, and it's not going to loosen up. Or it's not going to cause anything to slow down your, your uh, pace.